Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. And we are back with our friend, Ms. Sandra Bullock. She is here to inspire us, as she always does. And we're excited to talk a little bit about resilience today. But first, let's introduce our guest. Please say hello. Hi. Yes, I wish I was Sandra Bullock, but I am Stacy Bullock. Stacy! And- oh, my God, I said it wrong. I didn't even realize it. How funny is that? Hey, oh, how many times does that happen? How many times does that happen? I'm, I didn't it even, it didn't happens. Me. I'm like, I know, right? Thanks, and I'm Sandra. okay with it. I should have looked okay down and read the script. <laughs> how are it's you, okay. Miss Stacy? So good to see you. Do- you too. Please introduce yourself to our listeners today. Yes, I again, I'm Stacy Bullock. I am the owner and founder of Power and Resilience. We are a life coaching company that is different from any other. I guarantee you, you will have your resilience ignited and get on with life with such wonderful expectation. Great. And I know today's topic of conversation, we're going to talk a little about resilience. But first, uh, new listeners each and every week, it's important just to establish a little more. Uh, the website where we can find more information out of is? Awesomepowerinresilience.com. Perfect. Powerinresilience.com. And you're offering life, job skills, training, and so much more, right? Yes, we are, like I said, a life coaching company who provides tools and resources for us to be able to have the power and the capacity to come back from life's ills because life's going to throw us some challenges and we have to be able and equipped to come back from them. Oh, well, let's talk. So what is resilience exactly? Let's start there. Okay, resilience, it has a whole lot of facets to it. I've, you know, studying this thing for years and I always come up with something different. But the Stacy definition is that we use in power and resilience is the ability to demonstrate your inner strength outwardly. The ability to demonstrate means we have a behavior that shows that we are resilient. And, you know, most of the time we go through stuff in life. Somebody knows it happened, right? (laughs) Somebody saw it. Somebody is a witness to it. Somebody saw the accident or somebody um, is a family member and they see you every day and they're watching you and they wonder how you're going to show up today. So your resilience is your show up. It is your demonstration to say, you know what? That's okay. It happened. Mm -hmm. Yep, it was bad. Might look bad on the outside. Might even feel bad. Might even smell bad. But you know what? (laughs) I'm going to come back from this. And you will not even be able to recognize the person that went through that. Because, you know, I don't want to get too far into this thing. But resilience, I don't know. Give them a Miriam Webster definition. Why not? Uh, you know, I love it. The capacity love it. or power to quickly recover from difficulties. And why do we need it, Stacey? Tell us, tell us. Oh my goodness, we, we need it because you know, sometimes we're gonna have a little turbulence in life. Oh, for sure. And I always think about it when I'm on a plane and I hear the pilot come on and say, Hey, everybody needs to sit down in your seat. Get yourself together, get settled, you know, sit down, relax. It's going to be okay, but it's going to be a little bumpy. Some Something's going to happen. You might even hear some dishes jiggling around in the back, but don't worry about it because we're prepared for it. We need the resilience because like I just said, life's going to give us some turbulence. And here we are. I'm out here in Southern California An earthquake will show up in any moment. You know, earthquakes show up in life yeah. <laughs> and they just shake shake stuff. Sometimes some stuff falls over and breaks, you know, it's kind of like, okay, well, do I even want to replace that, that broke or do I want to get something that's better? And I suggest that we do something better that we can come to the other side of the the trauma, the disappointment, the pain, um, whatever took place in life that made you pause It, you know, we doesn't have to stop us, but we do have some pauses. But you know what? I found out this real interesting thing, Jill. What? 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 About resilience. 
that it is actually built in buildings. Architects put resilience purposely mm -hmm. in the infrastructure in the core of a building so that when the earthquake does come, it says that it's actually created so that it won't, the damage won't be caused you to come to a complete failure. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. I'm loving this. I'm loving this because how are you so smart, Stacey? You're a worldly woman with so many different uh, <laughs> degrees, backgrounds, and you're just so here to help us. How do we use this resilience? Teach us, teach us. Oh my goodness. So using it is, and I want to flip it around a little bit because for us to use it, we have to have this, like I said earlier, there's a demonstration there's a behavior that comes along with it when you see that you're using it and you get so, I, I know I get hyped about it. I don't know about nobody else. I'm hyped right now about resilience. My life, you know, took on some bumps and curves and turns and brick walls and all that stuff. But I am so excited to tell the listeners what it looks like. So they'll be yeah. able to recognize it in their life. First, we have to, um, like I talked about the building a few seconds ago, we have to build this. This it, yeah. it comes, it's with us, yes. But sometimes, uh, you know, we get a little um, lackadaisical, complacent. But we have to make sure that we find this place that will push us past places of brokenness, places of being crushed. So when we look at, think of the opposite of broken is stable, is steady. It's, it's, you know, I don't want to say it's not weak because I don't want people to think, oh, we always have to be strong. Oh, sometimes we get a little weak and it's okay. Mm -hmm. As long as we don't stay in that weak spot because what happens when you stay in a weak spot on a floor, I'm thinking of a subfloor. And if you keep standing there, eventually it's going to fall in. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't want to fall in. We want to have, we want to make sure that our broken places, that we begin to build them again, that we begin to allow them to be healed again from the yeah. inside out. And it shows up in our not quitting. Mm -hmm. We don't quit. We don't give up. Yep. I might take a break for a minute and sit down and settle myself. <laughs> and so that I can now, I can think clearly, we can hear clearly, and then we can get our ideas our um, things that come to us that sound like a solution sometimes, yeah. but because you know, life has come and we may not have that much confidence and trust in who we are, we may not trust that. So resilience shows up in us trusting ourselves, saying, you know what? You are good enough to have that idea. Yeah. No, maybe you, you didn't go to college and, and, and get a degree or maybe you went and you quit. <laughs> yeah. You stop. But it's OK, because long as you come back from it and, and make sure that you are focusing on you, yeah. the real, authentic you. You know, I think I said last time on here that I sometimes like to wear uh, different color socks and mix match stuff that most of people course. might think is mix match but I love that's, it. that's me I am at my most uh free state if I could say that within my mind that helps me to have behaviors that show that I am free and I'm not in fear of what has happened to me or what others have said because like I said somebody witnessed what happened to us yeah somebody was around but we get to show them mm. you know what I'm not giving up. Yeah. I'm staying in this fight. We get up again. We keep going. We show up. Sometimes we don't want to show up. Matter of fact, this morning I posted a video that said, do sometimes we do resilience. We have to do things we don't want to do. <laughs> but I was on my max climber, my exercise machine, and I was not feeling like doing that but I know that that oh. keeps me strong physically when I work out so when I work out I get to have a couple of things twofold you you know we get to look good look like my host 
all nice and fit, ready oh, yeah, to go. Thank you. <laughs> so welcome. It's all true. It is all true. So yeah, we get to have create our own strength. Mm-hmm. Create our own will to do when we own our stuff. Creating who we are, creating strength within us when we acknowledge our own stuff. Because sometimes we put ourselves in a position where we're not resilient, where we're not coming back quickly from the things that life threw at us. We sit up and have a pity party. I don't need for any of those parties anymore. Let's have some great parties now. We all just need to celebrate. We sure because have. We've been, yeah. through, we've been through a lot. Pity parties. You're right. I can't believe you mentioned that. We have a lot of that. We do. We do. We get so negative. Why? Why? Yes. Why me? Well, guess what? Maybe it's just because it's time for you to grow. Maybe it's time for you to develop a new skill. Maybe it's time for you to start a new business. Maybe it's time for you to to stop doing the business that you're doing. (laughs) Find a change of pace, recreate yourself. Maybe that's the why. I, I I don't know everybody's why, but I can give you some of mine that I can say, hey, this works. This works. If you put forth the effort and the energy and the time to build and develop and and strengthen your inner core, your infrastructure, your DNA, if you will, strengthen it. There's many ways scientifically that our DNA is being strengthened. I won't go into that because that's not my area of expertise. But I can tell you that if we decide and make the decision to demonstrate outwardly the strength that we have on the inside once we build it. Empower and Resilience will help you do that. You just give us a shout out, give us an email. We'll be right there to help you build it and, and say, all right, when it's time to go, when it's time that you are ready to take off, we're going to unclip you and not push you necessarily out there without any guidance or any help. We'll, we will have already taken care of all that stuff, gone over the goals, how we're going to reach the goals, what steps we need to take to get to the end of that goal. Notice I said that goal because yeah, we have uh-huh. many. So I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> I to love it. And see let's where remind people them. People are going to go. Yes. For- powerinresilience.com and igniting that power through our resilience. Clearly, it's what we're doing. You say pushing through opposition makes us incredibly strong human beings. And it is time to go higher. Mind, body, and soul. Are you ready to bounce back? Life coaching, resilience training for the mind. So tell us about the resilience training. Like, how does that differ from life coaching? Is it similar? I mean, it's similar, but the, the training comes from repetitiveness okay like we get we'll have a homework assignment for a specific um you know person say i can just let's go with exercise mm-hmm. where we i have a client that wanted to increase their um, capacity and come back from some things and needed to have the exercise portion of it and this is why it's so Um, phenomenal I think that we can do this life coaching and resilience training from anywhere because this particular client I happened to be exercising while I was talking to my client see like I said we're in there with you so we need to exercise together if I need to talk to you while you're exercising and I do it with you that's what we're going to do resilience we're going to build the individual whatever they're Um, feeling like they're not adequate in a specific area. And like I said, this one happened to be in exercise. And hey, I I love exercising. I don't always like to do it, but I like exercise. So 
at that point, hey, we both have an advantage. I get to exercise. I get to talk to you and encourage you to continue in your exercise. Okay, what are we doing today? We set yeah. goals. You yeah. ask, what do we do? So let's say that. We set goals. Today, on Tuesday, March 29th, at 3 p.m., we are going to do A, B, C, D, and E. Mm-hmm. And for whatever reason, if we can't get to all of them, it's okay. Don't worry. The house is not going to fall down. We're not going to allow that to happen. We're going to keep encouraging ourselves because every step you take, even though it may be a small one, even though you say, I only was able to stay on my treadmill for five minutes today. Well, tomorrow or next, whenever we plan it out, we'll stay on there for an next, we'll stay on yeah. there for 10 minutes. Yeah. It's called building. Mm -hmm. And we build, and we, that's just like I said, that's what's ex, with, just with exercise. If someone is dealing with uh, divorce and having to come back from all of the intricacies that play a role in that sometimes, sometimes we have uh, tax issues, we have um, children issues. And so we have to be able to build a plan to say, okay, well, how am I going to build my relationship with, first of all, myself now? Because sometimes we get married and we get lost. I, yeah. I, I, I'm a witness to that. We don't, <laughs> we, you know, I'm just like, oh, wait a minute. I'm not, I'm not married anymore. So, well, who am I? And how do I come back from this? So let's put the plan together. And now do we need to go back to school and find out, you know, and, and increase our education? Well, if we do that, that well, if we do need to do that, what are the steps that need to be taken? Let's set mm -hmm. some goals. Let's send out some applications. You know, let's send, start writing some letters. What is, it, what is it that we need to get it done? That's what Power and Resilience will ask you. Yeah. What do you want to do? And now let's make a plan to get it done. I love it. I love it. Nothing like making things happen and making that plan of attack, but feeling so good and getting yes. it done, you know, it's, yes. ah, why not? Um, you know, I, there's a beautiful picture of the ocean and beach on your uh, website. I took a quick little vacation this past week and I ran down to like an island and it just makes you feel so good and think about life so differently to see that blue water, that ocean. And if you can have that every day. I mean, it can have it with yes. you, right? You can, you just yes. have to make an effort to have it, to see it, to believe it. And to, it just inspires you little things like that, whether yes. it's, you know, vacation, yes. whether it's, um, you know, uh, people journal people, there's so much to mindset and the whole thing of feeling good. So I'll let you continue. Sorry. Yes. I don't want to go on a okay. rant. <laughs> oh, no, you know, I I'm okay with that. You are giving us some good nuggets. And for you to bring up that page yeah. on my website is just awesome because actually I have the, the what I wrote in that portion of the website right here in front of me. Yeah. And I was going to share it with our listeners. So, hey, we are aligned and I am excited about it. And the portion on the website says, there are times in life when we feel like we are going to be washed away. Now imagine this blue sea that's in that you focus on. You see this blue water, it's so calm, but it's just going mm -hmm. in and out. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, and it's, it's massive though. Mm -hmm. It's massive. So the rest of it says, just like the beauty of the ocean and its ability to maintain its gorgeous hues of blues and greens after every storm, <laughs> humanity's inner strength can take on the storm. The power of our resilience allows us to find a deeper, calmer place within, moving from the superficial to an authentic place of peace. It is there we regain poise and tranquility, turning us to the state of fluidity and freedom as the sea. I, I, ooh, I feel free right now, Jill. I just, that just took me right over there to the ocean and watched the water go in and out. I do that all the time for myself to unload. God. I go to the ocean and I just say, you know what? I'm going to let this go wow. because it's, it's, it's too heavy for me to hold on to it. Hey, some stuff we're just not in charge of. And resilience training brings you to that point when you 
find yourself growing and being able to come back from situations, it helps us to understand that some stuff I'm just not in control of. And guess what? I can't put my energy into that because I really don't have the energy for it right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, perfect. I love it though. And uh, to keep inspired, to keep doing what you do, it's like, ah, amazing to feel good. Could you share some of your clients' experiences? Anything on tap recently that you want to share that would you know, I um, these weren't necessarily my clients. Um, however, one of my clients was there and she came to me afterwards. I spoke on Saturday at a, a women's, a VFW women's event, matter of fact. Um, and we talked about healing and hope. And I said, we have to be healed to, to even elevate ourselves in hope. And many of the ladies came afterwards and said, that was so timely. Matter of fact, I, it was on live and a lot of people said how timely it was because they are lacking in the area of hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the one of the major reasons why they, possibly could be lacking in the area of hope is because we are not allowing ourselves to heal mm -hmm. our hearts to heal from our disappointments and our rejections we have to heal first of all you know we have to love ourselves enough to stop and say guess what you know what I'm gonna take some time out to heal I'm gonna take some time out to do that because we don't, we keep going. And that's part of growing and developing. We have to learn this stuff. I know I didn't know it about 30 years ago. I wish I did, but I didn't. But it's okay, because I still got here. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, one of my clients, she was there. And it actually, she, she sent me a message probably about two days later and said, I really didn't hear what you said when you said it, but I went back and listened to it. And that's what I encourage people to do too. Go back and take, while you're speaking to me, while we're talking, take notes. I don't mind. Take notes. Let me know if you want to record it so we can go back over it so we don't miss something. And she said she did not realize because I asked the question, are you unconditionally loving yourself? Uh -huh. Resilience will cause you to love yourself. Mm -hmm. You love yourself enough that you say, I'm not staying in this. Yeah. <laughs> I am not yeah. going to sit down right here, you know? Um, so she said, I, she, that was basically what she said to me. I didn't hear what you said, but now I got it. But you know what? Let me know that she really got it. Her behavior, her posture even changed. The, the, I mean, it was almost like the light. She did tell me, she said that a light came on in me. And I understood now where I was being held up at. And that's something that we do as well. We will keep digging because we're going to stay with you and keep going until we find out what is that that really is stopping you from moving forward. There's something. And if I do not have the expertise to do it because I know my limitations, because yeah. we have them, okay. and I'm not going to put somebody in danger I have resources to get you to where you need to be and get you to help. And then we'll come back. But we, but she, when the light bulb went off, like I said, her whole posture changed that, that is life changing for me. Yeah. When somebody's life just changes right before your eyes, it's like, wow, that's amazing. That is amazing. Yes. Our pains and our things that happen to us, they should empower us. Mm -hmm. Should empower us and not um, stop us. Yeah, and to help break out of some of those types of traumas in a sense and pains that we've had. Um, mm -hmm. Could you just share a little bit about your background? You know, how you help people get through this? Just tell us a little more about you. Sure. Um, well, about me? 
I am, I, I do have a degree in psychology. I did go back to school. I'm an 18 year army veteran who experienced um, great trauma. Um, a disruption, an 18 year career that just ended abruptly. And at that point, I couldn't walk well. That's what I'll say. I, I, I could walk. However, it was just some days unbearable. Um, <laughs> but, I, but I had to, I had to keep going and I had to push through. And a lot of, a lot of uh, something that I said on Saturday is that um, people see your bio and they see all these wonderful glowing things about you. But I said, you know what that bio is? Those are moments of restoration. Mm -hmm. When I was able to uh, go to the Department of Justice and supervise 75, well, 35 legal secretaries and 40 paralegals and having them to assist 150 attorneys. That was a job where you needed to be resilient on a daily basis because I like to interact with people. That's what, that's what I do. I interact with people and build the person. So that's how we, that's our main goal is to build the person, whether, I, you know, I, treatment plans. Um, I use that word because I was in the dental field for 18 years. So I do, I do know a little ah. bit about medical and treatment plans and dental and treatment plans. So <laughs> the, word, the, 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 the terminology kind of flows over into helping people and building people. That's what, that's what we do. We build people to get them to be able, thank you, to get them to be able to be their true, authentic self. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Thanks, we got three minutes left. Thank what you. else do you want to thank share with us? You. I just want to share with you all, please reach out and uh, hit me up on Instagram. <laughs> um, it's power and resilience, all one word, Stacy underscore Bullock, B-U-L-L-U-C-K. That's all on Instagram. So just hit us up, powerinresilience.com. Go on, check out our packages, check out our blog, check out what we're talking about, um, sign up, send us a note, say hi, let us know what you need and we're here for you. Power Beautiful. in Resilience. Great. And on social Thank media, you. where do we find you, sweetie? You can find me on Facebook, Stacey Bullock, S-T-A-C-E-Y-B-U-L-L-U-C-K, or you may find Power in Resilience. And right now we're on Instagram with one word, Power in Resilience. I love it. And um, want to leave a phone number? Do we still, do we still use regular phones nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> With my mind, like, okay, what? It's sitting right next to me, but it's 202 469 9552. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for being here, for joining us once again, Stacey. Thank you for the thank conversation you, about resilience today and for helping our listeners and wishing you a very happy and healthy week. What would it be? It's Tuesday. So yeah, we're, we're a day in. We can get through this together. Yes, <laughs> thank you again, sweetheart. Have a great You're day. Welcome. And to you all too. of our listeners, stay tuned. More of the show is on the way. Are you looking for even more of the podcast and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you can now listen live on the MyTuner Radio and online radio box apps for iOS, Android, and the Amazon App Store. Or check us out online. Search for Business News Network on mytuner-radio.com or search Podcast Business News Network on onlineradiobox.com slash US so you don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. 
Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.